Maybe we'll start in child's pose. So big toes touch and then your knees as wide as the mat or as, as comfortable as for you. And then stretch the arms long, resting forehead to mat. And then see if you can kind of actively push through the palms of your hands to push your seat towards your heels. Maybe it touches, maybe it doesn't. And just allow the eyes to close and settle here. Bring your awareness to your breath. And just try to feel the sensation as the air enters the nostrils. Fills the lungs. And then notice the sensations as it exits. Feel your rib cage draw in as you exhale. Stomach contracts. And then fill up as you inhale. Feel the belly expand. Make space between the ribs. And then if you feel comfortable, you can stay here. If you want to take some movement, just keep your head low and begin to walk your hands off the right edge of your mat. Still trying to keep the seat towards the heels and just feel the stretch all the way down from the left shoulder to the left hip. And send the breath there. And then keeping the head low, walk your hands through center and walk to the left side of your mat. And send the breath to the right rib cage. And walk back to center and push your way up to a tabletop position. Your hands are stacked underneath your shoulders, hips on top of the knees, push or spread your fingers apart wide, and then push away with the palms of your hands. So you're kind of pushing your the upper back up. And then we'll move into cat cow from here. So on the inhale, tailbone and chin rises, belly drops, and then exhale, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin and round the spine. Inhale, lift for cow. And exhale, round for cat. One more time. See if you can move slow and articulate each vertebrae here. And then after your cat, we'll come back to a neutral spine. Walk your hands like half a handprint forward. Tuck your toes and then push up for a downward facing dog. Your knees can be bent if your hamstrings feel tight and just push firmly through the palms of your hands. Again, your fingers are spread wide. Try to make space for your neck. So externally rotate your shoulders and see if you can push your hip bones up a little bit higher. Create an upside down V. If it feels good, you can pedal out the feet nice and slow. Or maybe kind of sway your hips from side to side. And just keep doing your deep breaths here. Keep that breath throughout the practice. And then we'll take a deep bend in our knees and bring your chest towards your thighs and keep pushing through the palms of your hands. And then inhale, ripple forward into a high plank. So the top of a push up. And then exhale, go back into your downward facing dog. Bend the knees, bring your chest to your thighs. 
and then ripple forward again into high plank. So we'll do that two more times. Send the hips up for downward facing dog. Bend the knees, chest to thighs, and then ripple forward high plank. Last time, downward facing dog. Bend the knees. Ripple forward into a high plank. And then from here, we'll go back to downward facing dog one more time. And inhale, lift your right leg up for a three-legged dog. Your toes are pointing down towards the earth. And then bend the knee, bring your heel to the seat, and open up through the hip. So see if you can stack right hip on top of left, but still pushing right armpit towards the earth. And then maybe rotate your ankles here, or maybe draw big circles with the hip, whatever feels good. Just take it in both directions. And then from there, back to three-legged dog. Right leg comes down. Inhale, send the left leg up. Point the toes towards the earth. And then bend at the knee and stack your hips. Draw left armpit towards the earth. So hips are stacked, but shoulders are squared. And then same thing you did on the other side. Draw circles with your ankles or hips. Whatever feels good. And then you can lower the left foot to the mat and then gaze between your hands, step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Hands can touch or maybe they stay apart. And then bring your hands down to heart center. Exhale. So sun salutation A, reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold down the middle. Inhale, halfway lift, brings you up. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into high plank. So from here, you can either lower down to your knees or you can stay on your toes, but the idea is that your hands are underneath your shoulders and you bring your waist down so that they graze your elbows. So your elbow is pointing straight up as you lower down. And then lift up either for cobra or up dog. And then find your downward facing dog. And then gaze between your hands, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. So we'll do that one more time. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to high plank. Inhale, you shift forward just a little so shoulders come over your wrists. And then exhale, lower down halfway or all the way to your belly. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees and then gaze between your hands, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep up. And exhale, hands to heart center. From here, we'll step our left foot back, coming up onto the ball of your left foot for crescent lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. If you feel like you're teetering, Step your feet out in opposite directions a little bit wider to give yourself a wider stance. And then bend through the right knee, shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale, and then exhale, swing your arms back like airplane wings and lower your chest towards your knee. But you're not resting on your knee, you're hovering above it. Inhale, back up for crescent. And exhale, lower to that airplane. Inhale for crescent. Exhale, airplane. One more time, inhale, come up. Exhale, send the hands back. 
and then push off your left toes and find your way into warrior three. So maybe you find your balance, maybe you drag your toes all the way up and then lift, but move nice and slow. Point the left toes towards the earth, so hips are squared. And then you can either keep your hands behind you, bring them to your chest, or reach them out ahead of you, whichever you prefer. And then we'll lower back into our crescent lunge. Inhale here. And then open up to your left for warrior two, gazing over right middle finger. Right knee is bent, arms are strong. Tuck the tailbone, lower the shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, straighten the right knee and then bring hands up overhead to kiss the palms together. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg, hands kiss. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, straighten and lift. Exhale, warrior two. And then inhale, we'll move into Skandasana, left knee bends. So hands can come to heart center or lower your hands to the mat. Left knee bends and right leg straightens with the toes pointing up. Feel that stretch there. And then if you wanna play with balance, you can bring your hands up to heart center or keep them down. And then we'll walk our hands forward to frame the right foot into a runner's lunge. So you're on the ball of your left feet from here. And then left hand comes down to the mat, right hand reaches up for a lunge twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And then on your exhale, send your right leg back for a side plank, keeping your right arm up. Again, you can modify Left knee down, your feet can be um, stacked one on top of the other or stagger them. Just create that rainbow shape underneath from here. And then go ahead and lower right hand, you're coming back into high plank. And then we'll send the right leg high for a three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, begin to shift forward and you can either lower the right foot to the ground and move through your vinyasa or try keeping the right leg lifted. So inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. And exhale, step it forward for crescent lunge. Find your balance before you lift and then inhale as you come up. Exhale, find that airplane arms. So lower the torso, arms go back, creating one long line of energy. Inhale back up for crescent. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, airplane. And then from here, we transition to warrior three. So begin to push off the right toes and then right leg lifts. Trying to create a capital T shape. Toes are pointing towards the earth. Hips are square so that you could put a cup of tea on your low back. And then go ahead and lower that right leg back for crescent lunge. Arms go up, inhale. Exhale, pivot to your right, warrior two. Gaze over left middle finger. Look down at your left knee. Make sure that your knee is not caving in towards the big toe. See if you can draw it out towards the pinky toe. Engage the quads here. 
shoulders down away from the ears. And then on the inhale, straighten left leg, hands come up and kiss. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. And then on the inhale, we'll bend our right knee and straighten left for Skandasana. Hands either come to heart center for a balance challenge or you can keep them down on the earth. And just breathe here. And then begin to walk your hands and creep forward. Hands frame the left foot this time for runner's lunge. Inhale here. And then exhale, find your lunge twist. So right hand down, left hand up. And you can either, whatever feels good for your neck, gaze down at the right hand or gaze up towards left. Inhale. And then on the exhale, find your side plank. Whatever variation works for you. Lift the hips up high. If your feet are stacked, it helps if you really flex the feet and draw the toes in towards your forehead. And then left hand comes down, high plank. Inhale, left leg goes up for three-legged dog. And then option to flow through your vinyasa, either three-legged dog or four. Take a moment, deep breath in from your down dog. And a deep breath out. And then we'll step our left foot forward. And then walk our hands towards the side, right side of our mat for a wide legged forward fold. So your toes are pointing straight ahead. Your feet are parallel with the top and bottom of your mat. And then you can bring your hands down underneath your shoulders and just allow your head to drop here. And then you can play with your hand placement. So if it feels good to stay where you are, you can do that. You can kind of walk your hands forward as if like downward dog arms. There's some opening in the shoulders. Or you can even walk them behind you in between your legs with the pinkies in the middle and the thumbs out. Just kind of play with whatever feels good and imagine your head coming towards the floor. And then wherever you are, bring your left hand right below your face and then reach your right arm up as you inhale for a twist. And then we'll do that with a flow. So exhale, right hand comes down, left arm rises for a twist. One more time each side, exhale, down. Inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, switch. Inhale, lift. And then you can lower both hands, walk your feet and pivot back towards the front of your mat. Step your um, left leg back and then we'll come into a tabletop position. Just take a moment here. And then from here, we'll lower our forearms to the mat. Palms against the earth, fingers spread wide, and then send your legs back, tuck your toes. So we're in forearm plank. So we're gonna do a little core work here. So engage your whole body, push through the forearms, push through the palms, belly is lifted, tailbone is tucked. Stay here. And then just begin to kind of um, move back and forth on your toes. So like tip forward and rock back. Rock forward and back. Trying to keep your hips level.
and just keeping the core engaged from here. Keep breathing. Three more, you can do it. And then you can lower your knees and take a little rest if you need it. I could use it. And then we'll lift up, up really quick, back into our forearm plank. And then we're just gonna march it out. So same thing, found your, find your foundation, and then we're gonna march our feet. So lift right, lift left, lift right, lift left. Tiny movements, trying not to move anything but your feet. Keep breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. And lower everything down to the mat. And we'll move into a sphinx pose. So we'll do some back bends to counteract the core work we just did. So same thing, forearms to the mat, creating um, candlesticks. Take your toes as wide as the mat. So toes at each corner of the back of your mat. And then just create length through your spine here. Lift your neck up out of your shoulders. Really pushing through the palms and forearms here. Sphinx pose. And then we'll lower down for cobra. So hands come underneath the shoulders, forehead rest to mat. Inhale, pushing up, shining the chest forward, shoulders down away from the ears and lower down. And then you can do that two more times just like we did or a variation is to walk your hands out outside the mat coming up onto your fingertips. So you've got cupcake hands, and then doing the same motion. So forehead comes down, inhaling lift, exhale lower, inhale lift, and exhale lower. So the same thing, just a little modification there. And then from there, we'll come up to tabletop position again and we'll swing our right leg forward for half pigeon here. So right knee comes behind right wrist. The goal is not to go as low as you can go with your torso. Really the goal is to try to make your right shin parallel to the front of the mat. Mine doesn't come anywhere close to that. Um, mine's at an angle, but the goal is to try to draw your foot, um, right foot towards left wrist. That's the end goal. So it's perfectly fine to stay here. Finding length through the spine. You definitely will feel a stretch in the right hip here. But if it feels good to you, you can lower down to whatever level feels comfortable. And then always an option to use a block or folded blanket. If that's not comfortable, you can bring your forearms to the block. Try to equalize the weight between both hips. So notice if you're leaning to one side. And just breathe. Two more breaths. One. Two. So wherever you are, slowly make your way back up. And then I like to roll my weight over to my right hip, swing the left leg forward, and then we'll just do half pigeon on the other side. So left leg forward, right leg back. Try to inch your left forward towards the right wrist, even if it's just a centimeter. And then always create length through the spine first. Inhale, and then exhale, lower down.
Is your weight balanced? Is your jaw clenched? Are you holding your breath? Two more rounds of breath. And slowly make your way up. And then we will swing right leg around. So the right foot goes to the outside edge of your left thigh. Kind of like a crossed position like this. And then right hand comes behind hip, left arm goes up, inhale. And exhale, we're just doing a seated twist here. So option for left arm to either hug right knee or hook elbow outside of right knee. Notice if right shoulder is creeping up towards the ear, see if you can draw it down. Inhale, your head goes towards the ceiling. And exhale, a tiny bit more of a twist. And then we'll gently release and do the same thing on the other side. So this time left foot crosses over right thigh and then draw right foot in towards the seat. Left hand plants behind the hip and inhale, reach right arm up. Exhale, twist to your left. The more you push through your left palm on the earth, the more length you'll get through your spine. And breathe here, one more round. And then gently release. And we'll send both legs forward. Feet are flexed for a seated forward fold. So on the inhale, reach the arms up. And then on the exhale, hinge forward from the hips, seeing how far you can imagine your chin jutting forward towards your toes. And then when you can't reach further anymore with a flat back, then you can release the hands down and round the spine. And then if you need to have a little bend in the knees, that's okay. This is a great place for a strap or using a towel if you need that to kind of get that length without too much rounding. It's a good option to choose. And then from here, we'll slowly begin to unwind, make our way back onto our backs. We'll do one bridge pose, so a mini inversion. Draw your, heat, your heels in towards your seat. Push your hands and forearms into the earth. Draw knees in towards each other. And then on the inhale, lift your hips up. Always trying to engage the quads more than the glutes. Notice if the knees started to splay out. See if you can draw them in and then lift your hips up a little bit higher. Maybe you can roll right and left shoulder under and then clasp your hands underneath and draw the hand packet down towards your heels and you'll get more length and lift there as well. Feet are flat against the floor. And then we'll lift up onto our tippy toes. You can unclasp the hands if they were clasped and then begin to lower down towards the mat one vertebrae at a time, so your tailbone is the last thing to come down. And then we'll let heels lower as well. 
And then from here, you can go ahead and move into your position for Shavasana. Maybe the shape of a star with hands and feet out towards the corners of your mat. Or maybe you draw the soles of your feet together into butterfly. And then your hands can be at the sides or wherever is comfortable. Maybe you want to place left hand on your heart and right hand on your belly. Just reconnect to your breath. Maybe feel your heartbeat. See if you can notice your heartbeat from the farthest point from your heart. So can you notice the pulse at your wrist or your ankle? Let go of control of the breath here. And just do a scan of your body from the crown of your head all the way to your toes. Where can you let go? What can you soften? Wherever you find energy or action, see if you can let it go. If you're ready to begin to invite movement back into the body, maybe stretch the arms and legs out long in opposite directions. Make the longest version of yourself as if you just woke up in the morning. Big yawning stretch. Deep breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. One more time. Inhale. Open mouth. Let it go. Hands come to heart center, wherever you are. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste.